Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at SQLite database inside the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So SQLite is a relational database management system which is contained in the C library. SQLite is not a client-server database, but rather embedded into the end program. SQLite is a popular choice as embedded database software for local client storage in application software, such as web browser, mobile phone applications, desktop applications, etc. SQLite is arguably the most widely deployed database engine it, is, it also has bindings to many programming languages, such as C-Sharp, which we're going to look at in this video. So, so in this video, we will precisely look at SQLite entity framework called Database Provider. So, we will actually look at SQLite in the lens of a of an entity framework developer so we we'll, we we'll get started by actually clicking on the file it's the start window we create new project so here we're going to select the console app .net core the once that bit is selected then we can click on the next so here obviously you can configure your project details but we're not going to look too much into that so we click on the create So while it's being loaded, so the SQLite Entity Framework Core Database Provider. So this database provider allows Entity Framework Core to be used with SQLite. And this is also maintained as part of the Entity Framework Core stack. So as you can see here now, we've actually got um, the, the blank console app created. So what we would do is we're going to add a new, a new class so it's a public class and we're going to call it product and we're just gonna have like three att att attributes so we're gonna have an int which is a product ID And we're going to get string, which will be the product name. Then we're going to get um, double, which will be the price. So here, of course, is a product ID. So this, we will move this bit here to product.cs. So here, what we do, so what we do is we actually right click on the dependencies. Then we go to manage NuGet packages. So we come inside the install, I mean the browse bit here. So what we do is we are going to enter microsoft.entityframeworkcore.sqlite. So that is normally the first one. So it's microsoft.entityframeworkcore.sqlite. So we actually install this bit here. So we click OK and we accept. So once we've got the package installed, we're just going to close the new get package, then the new get package manager. Then we're going to create a new class. It's a public class. So we're going to say SQLite DB contest. So this actually inherits DB contest. So this will be on the Microsoft .entity framework call. So what we do is we move the SQLite DB contest to SQLite DB contest .cs. So that's that's the class that is actually created here now. So what we do is we put um, public create a 
property, db set property product. And we can say products and it's a get set. So we're going to override two methods. So the first bit is protected override on configuring. So we're going to configure the application to use um, SQL light. So what we do is um, the options builder dot use SQL light. So as you can see here, we can see this bit here now. So this is what we do put the file name here so this will be the name of the database is equal to so we're gonna call this um, SQLite DB1 yeah then we're going to span this with an option here option Okay, so inside here, we're just going to put a semicolon here that we press end. So here, this is what we're going to put here. We're going to put option dot migration assembly. So we're going to say assembly. So here we're doing a bit of reflection assembly dot get executing assembly so here the dot full name so we get the full name of the executed assembly so that's all we're gonna do for this bit here so the next bit is of course we we create another overriding method which is a protected override on model creating so here we can set our database table. So here we can say model builder dot entity. So the entity is of course product, the product objects. So we could say to table So we create a um, products. So we put a product table and then the schema. So we're just going to put test, just test for the schema. Yeah. So the next bit is, is the same model builder dot entity still the products. So in here, we're going to say entity So we're going to put some options inside this entity here So we're going to say entity So we're going to set the primary keys as key So this will be K K dot product ID so that will be the key and then entity entity dot we set the index has index so we could say um, I for the index I dot product name and then we set it to unique it's unique so that's all we're going to need for the um, the DB contest so we come inside the program so here we're going to make a static async task so that's we're going to change the main to t static async task yeah so we're going to leave the hello world here 
So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to start with a variable. This will be our DB name. This will be equal to. So we come inside the DB contest. So the DB name that we set here. We copy this DB name. So we set it here, we put it, we paste it here, dot db, we put a dot db link, I mean extension. Then we can say if file, so file in system dot io dot assist. So we put the db name. If file exists, then we can say file dot delete. Dot delete db name. Otherwise, we continue. So we can say um, await using. So we start, we create a new variable. Are we using <coughs> variable? So this will be our DB contest is equal to new SQLite DB contest. So <coughs> we can say await DB contest dot database dot ensure created async then we can say again await db contest dot products dot add range so we're going to add some products async So we can say that we can create a new product array here. So here we can add some products. So new products. So inside here, we can add a product ID, not product ID, product name. Apple and the price $10.99. So what we do is we're just gonna copy and paste them all over. So we're just gonna make free, just change the prices. And the names. So we're just gonna make this bit mango. And banana so that's all we have for here now so now we can say okay so now after the task we can say await DB DB contest dot save changes async so that's what we're going to do for here now. So now we can come down a bit and look inside the database and get the information. So we could say console.writeline um, getting database data. So we can do that by say db contest dot products so we check whether it's not null dot we convert to list dot for each so we look through so p for product then we can print them out 
So we can say, we can put the product name first. So we can say p, p dot product name, and then the price. We can say p dot price. Then we can convert it to money. So that's that's all we're gonna do for the video now. So now I'm just gonna run it so we can see what actually comes out of it. So let's hope everything works out. So I'm just gonna put console.readline here so that we can see what is actually going on. So I'm just gonna run it. So fingers crossed the whole thing works. I'm gonna pause it while the whole thing runs. So as you can see here now, we've been able to create the database and actually get the data from the SQLite database. So what we do is we're just gonna come inside the solution now. We come inside all files, sh show all files. So we come inside the bin and debug dot net code three point one. We scroll down. We look for we're gonna look for the DB created. So as you can see top here, SQLite DB one. That's the one that is created now. So I'm just gonna leave it here. And I hope you actually explore the SQLite further in terms of using it for other applications. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you'll have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.